Well, howdy, folks. Feel the Music 58 here again on a hot September afternoon. We was up at the shooting range this morning doing some shooting with the muzzle loader. And I know some people wondered that that Field of Music, did he even hit the target? I was demonstrating on how to load and fire a rifle, which obviously I do know how to do. But let me explain to you what we were doing. We were doing what you call working up a load with a rifle that I have not shot a whole lot. In other words, it shoots pretty good, but I thought we could make it shoot better. So we started out, I want to show you just a little bit on my targets here, what we was doing and what the goal was and what we was trying to accomplish at the time. Let's see, the very first shot that we made this morning was aiming at this target right here. Okay, now I had a cold barrel, and when you, when your barrel is cold and it's the first shot of the day, it ain't going to shoot where it shoots the rest of the day. If you're a deer hunter, this is something that you need to know about. For instance, in my case, I'm pretty well, my, the other rifle that I actually deer hunt with, I know where it shoots with a cold barrel, but if you notice I'm aiming here, the shot went here. And this was only about a 50 yard distance, by the way. And uh, I am using open sights because uh, I like doing things the old way. Now, I do have some peep sights, but uh, then once in a while we do use them. But this was done with open iron sights at a distance of about 50 yards, roughly. So I started here, and the shot went here. That was with a cold barrel. I didn't do anything at all other than clean the barrel the way you see me do on the video. And then I put three more shots here. Now bear in mind, when you're trying to work up a load, your goal is you're shooting for group. You're not necessarily wanting to get on the bullseye. What you're looking for is a group. So you take the same sight picture every time. And that way you can tell what the group size is. So you see here, I didn't measure this. I'm going to say that's about a two inch group. You got one here and then two bullets touching one another right there. So I thought, okay, <clears throat> let's up the powder charge a little bit. So we did, and we went and shot this one right here. It looks like the group, no, I'm sorry, that's wrong. This one right here, you got two right here and one there. So it actually looked like the, the, the group size shrank a little bit. It's very important to keep accurate records. I've got a notebook that I write all this stuff down in. So I increased my powder. We started with 50 grains right here. Then we went to 55 grains here. Then we shot another group right here with 55 grains of powder. And so I had two there and one there, and then one over here was a flyer. Okay, I could have pulled that off or something. Like I said, I am using iron sight. A lot of times when I'm shooting for group, I do like to use a scope, even though we don't hunt with scopes, normally speaking, and you definitely can't use a scope whenever you're uh, shooting in competition. All right, so I said, well, I, let's see what happens from there. So I upped the powder charge to 60 grains and shot this group right here. This is actually four bullets right here. There's two and then one and one. So that overall group, probably about an inch and a half. And I said, well, that's not too bad. So I decided to shoot. I made a little bit of an adjustment on my sights, even though I said I wasn't shooting for that. I made a little adjustment on my sights and shot uh, five more rounds with 60 grains of powder. And that's this target right here. Now you can see I've got a little bit of a horizontal drift. More than likely that was the wind doing that. It was a little bit of wind and one flyer right here. But anyway, it looks to me like 60 grains of powder is a pretty good charge for that rifle. But now I'm going to be honest with you, I would love to have stayed a little longer and shot 65 and 70 grains of powder just to see if that group started opening back up. Maybe a little bit more than that, but I'm going to tell you, it was hot. You say, well, how hot was it, Brother Phil? Let me tell you. It was so hot till one time I seen a dog chasing a cat and both of them was walking. And that's the truth, I guarantee you. That happened this morning, they was both walking, that's how hot it was. Anyway, before I got ready to go to the house, 
Cause I already stayed longer than I should have. I done, done got too hot, and I done drunk a half a gallon of water, and it was just getting towards on towards dinner time anyway. And, and let me tell y'all, down in the south, we eat dinner at twelve o'clock. Uh, supper is the evening meal around six or so, and then lunch. That's what you take to work with you. Now that we got that cleared up, I decided that I'd shoot one more shot for score acting like I was going to shoot for score and so I shot this one right here you can see it has cut the 10 ring it's not an X maybe I need to tweak them sights just a little bit more but I shot this one for score and I hit a 10 it cut the 10 ring so I was pretty happy with that and if, I'd love to shoot a little more see if I can get it a little bit better but if not I got a match coming up in about three weeks and I'm satisfied that about 60 grains of powder is where I need to be on this rifle. Okay then, well let's feel the music 58 signing off. Appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Might have learned a little something, I hope. Have a good one.